This tutorial will cover setting up the CamDo programmable scheduler with a Hero 3 Black, Hero 3 Plus Black, and Hero 3 Plus Silver. The scheduler will be set to take images at 1 minute intervals from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Step 1 of the process is to set up your camera for Super 1 button mode. First, with the SD card in your camera, turn it on. Cycle to the settings menu. It's the one with the wrench icon. And from here, navigate to the trash can icon and select the all slash format option. This will ensure your SD card is properly formatted. Next, navigate to the setup menu, the one with the gears icon, which is inside the settings menu. Enter the first menu, which will dictate what mode the camera powers up in. Ensure that the image icon is selected as the default. Next, turn your camera off, remove the SD card, and insert it into your computer with an SD card reader. Next, navigate to www.camdo.com SOBM and scroll down until you see the example scripts for your particular camera. Right-click the sample script and select Save As, and save it to the directory of the SD card. Next, find that directory and ensure that it is saved properly. You are looking for a script that says autoexec.ash, and do not change the name of it. Finally. Eject the SD card from your computer and insert it back into the camera. Turn the camera on and the script should run. If the script does not run, make sure it is for the correct version of camera and that it is correctly named. See the bottom of the Super 1 button mode page for common errors and frequently asked questions. Once you have set up your camera for Super 1 button mode, you are now ready for step 2 of the process which involves programming the intervalometer which is inside of the scheduler. The first thing you want to do is reset to factory defaults by setting the dip switches on the back of the scheduler to 1010 or up down up down. Plug the scheduler into the camera and wait a couple of seconds for the LED on the front to turn off. During this time the camera may turn on and that is fine. Unplug the scheduler and set the dip switches to 1011 or up down up up. This will set the mode of the scheduler. Now when you plug the scheduler in, the LED will blink twice and then stay on. The scheduler is now set for Hero 2 or Hero 3 white cameras. Unplugging the scheduler and plugging it back in will cause the scheduler to blink three times and then stay on. The scheduler is now set for Hero 3 Black, Hero 3 Plus Black, and Silver, and Hero 4 cameras. Now set the dip switches to 1111 or up, 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 and plug back into the camera. Press the manual button once and ensure that the small light bulb icon in the corner has an X through it. We're now going to wait until the seconds timer on the scheduler hits 40. This is not necessary, although it allows us to use the seconds timer to accurately count how long we're setting the interval for. At 40 seconds, Unplug the scheduler and set the dip switches to 0000 or down, 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 and plug back into the camera. When the seconds timer reaches zero, press the manual button twice so that the light bulb icon shifts from the right to the left and has the X removed from it. You are now programming the interval that will be repeated when the scheduler is active. The LED at the top 
is blinking roughly once a second, and this can be used to time the interval. However, it is more accurate to use the seconds timer on the scheduler. In this example, we will be programming a one minute interval, although the programming time can be extended to any interval you'd like. Once you reach the desired interval, press the manual button twice. Once again, you should notice that small light bulb icon shifts from the right and has an X through it. You'll also notice the blinking has stopped and the LED will show a long blink. Please continue to step 3 to program the scheduler. I will now show you how to set up the scheduler which will dictate when the intervalometer is active. First, plug the scheduler into the camera and set today's date. Do this by simultaneously holding down the clock button and pressing the day, hour, and mitten buttons until the desired date is set. Next, press the P button once to program the on time of the scheduler. Press the day, hour, and minute buttons to set the time you wish to enable the intervalometer. In this example, I have selected an on time for Monday to Friday at 8 a.m. Next, press the P button a second time to program the off time of the scheduler. Using the same buttons, set the time you wish to disable the intervalometer. In this example, I have selected an off time for Monday to Friday at 5 p.m. Press the clock button to return to the main screen. Ensure that the scheduler is set to auto at the bottom of the screen. If it is not, press the manual button until it displays that. If you are noticing a problem with the scheduler, press the small C button in the bottom left corner to clear all settings and return to factory defaults.